Good evening, I'm Giuseppe Basile, I'm the Ernest Show. You can find at the website www.fipstalker.com. I also post regularly on Twitter using that Fipstalker nickname. Good evening, today is um, March the 27th. Um, it's Thursday and it's 10.30 uh, p.m. Uh, in Toronto. In this video, I'm going to review for you uh, three um, markets, important markets I follow. These are the Jap Japanese majors, the US dollar versus Japanese yen, the euro versus Japanese yen, and the pound versus Japanese yen. So um, um, in this video, this is a daily update uh, and I'm going to post this update uh, on my blog. Um, so let's start from the, this daily chart of the US dollar versus the uh, Japanese yen. Um, as you can see here, there is this 101.52 uh, level, which I trace from uh, from this uh, 97.662, and there is a reason why I do this. Um, if you review my weekly um, uh, my weekly review, I post uh, every Sunday to my free news, uh, newsletter subscribers. You will understand uh, why this level is important and when it's where it's coming from, and the sequence of measured moves that uh, that brings um, this level into into life. Now. I trade I, I trace this level when uh, I start seeing this uh, market moving lower so with a couple of weeks uh, in advance if not more uh, and as you can see this level uh, um, worked quite well uh, the 10152 is the start of uh, an area of support uh, with a failure uh, below uh, 159 and as you can see uh, this area acted as a support one two three and four times now and uh, this level uh, of this area of support also has targets above above previous size too so um at the moment uh, what we are seeing in this market it's a later, lateral uh, move and uh, we could make make the case that uh, today's um, um, support and long entry area uh, there is an opposing uh, against this there is an opposing move on the short side starting at 102 uh, 48 uh, and going as high as uh, 102 79 here and as you can see also consistently uh, bears came into this market to uh, stop its move higher so really this market is still constrained between a, 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 a a long um, which is on a, on a bigger time frame so it's much more important and a short that comes on the daily time frame so the uh, the anticipation I have is that eventually this level will be uh, the 102.79 level will be pierced on the upside and that's also because as you could see from the previous video uh, the US dollar uh, it's apparently it's a, it's in a renewed move higher so um, we will need to see what happens in the in the next uh, in the in the coming days at the moment the movement is is lateral and we cannot exclude that uh, this 101.52 will be tested again and then you could see a continuation a continuation higher so um, not really a lot to say on this market is still moving uh, leisurely and today we got this violation of uh, the all the way halfway back that we can trace on the four hour chart which is what you see on the screen from lows to highs here and um, and that would be a confirmation of uh, shorts Will be a confirmation that the participant that took a position around 10250 actually they uh, they will uh, so it's a confirmation of lower price however as soon as that happened we saw we saw another uh, another uh, another failure of shorts so if shorts uh, were supposed to keep pushing this price uh, lower why did they fail to protect this 10232 level so uh, this is an indication of uh, a confirmation actually of a lateral move in this market so i think we are going to see more of the same with price maybe moving into uh, 10193 and then bouncing in and moving into 10248 and so on until this uh, this lateral move is resolved 
uh, we won't see actually any important movements. If you anticipate a continuation higher, uh, one thing to do uh, is observe the measure move, the sequence of measure moves in the 15 minutes here, and see what happens after price test 101.93 if we get there. And let's see if we can have an indication uh, already from the 15, 15 minutes here. 15 minutes um, is showing, uh, I want to show you an example of application of the FIB stalking technique, which is a technique I use to, um, to test support and resistance in a procedural way and also to understand when a reversal is closed. As you can see here, we had highs to lows targeting to first and second uh, sorry pricing to first and second target here and then we start the trading in extension so program trading is actually pushing this price in a way uh, very procedural and, and it, that respects rules and you can see here when it trades from lows to lows price comes to retest this 10209 and then continues lower and hitting again first and second target so um, the sequence uh, goes uh, until it goes and we don't know when it stops and uh, and when you get a failure when price moves above this uh, 101 uh, level then that's an indication of a failure and then a failure of this move lower means that uh, a move uh, in the opposite direction starts and, uh, and that's what we got uh, so we got uh, lows to highs participation then again first and second target so as, as you can see this um, uh, program trading is uh, on the market where it's present I mean it's very very powerful and important so you cannot trade without it really um, and as you can see here now we have a support around 10206 here and on the other side we have uh, a resistance um, which is clearly shown here and this resistance starts at 10220 so this price is really moving in 14 pips range now and uh, we're, we're going to see higher prices only if we move above 10226 here moving to the euro versus japanese uh, yen I want to uh, start from the um, from the daily chart again, and again this 136.62 level was a level that I was able to foresee with more than a month uh, in uh, in advance here. Yeah. So these levels on the weekly time frame uh, are very powerful and can be identified with weeks uh, very often with weeks. Uh, when I work on the weekly time frame or the monthly time frame, and I, sometimes I can identify levels uh, with months, if not years, in advance. Uh, and if you review my weekly um, videos that I sent to uh, my newsletter subscribers, you'll see how I do that analysis on the weekly time frame. And uh, you can subscribe freely and without fear. I hate spam as you do. Uh, I don't uh, use uh, your email uh, for uh, uh, for purposes different from uh, from uh, from that of sending the um, uh, the um, the newsletter. So I just want to show you that um, we had this sequence of measure move um, lows to highs, and we got into first target. Then we had a violation of the sequence and at some point this odd level here came into play and when I saw reaction here then I went to look for um, for what program trading is using was using sometimes program trading changes this these levels and with experience it's very easy to identify the new levels and the level I, I looked at uh, was um, was actually the uh, um, highs to highs here, so an extension. It's not a, can a canonical extension, but extension, but it's something that, uh, as we can see here, it worked quite well. Price found support there one, twice, and um, and uh, two, three more uh, more times. And then it started uh, moving lower. Yesterday, I told that market could start moving lower uh, below this level. And actually, that's what uh, what happened. And there is a reason for this. And I'll show you the reason on the four-hour chart. Now, there is a mo much more important level of support here from lows to highs. And this is going to be 140 level. And price is very close to test the level. We'll need to see uh, how price is going to 
to behave there now what i want to show here is the reason why price is moving lower because there is um there is a, a group of uh, program trading and professional traders who are actually pushing this price lower and again this level could i could not identify this level before the fact in this case but after i saw participation at this level one and twice then um once and twice then i i i looked for the level and again i i could find 141.91 and this uh mark at this um level of resistance and entry short is a first target in in 139.79 80 level here area and that's very close to the level of support so it's important to see what's going to happen whether uh, shorts will stay in control here or longs on this larger time frame will uh, will actually be able to break the sequence of measured moves so let's go and see on this um, uh, on this uh, four hour or um, yeah we can see this on the four hour as well and uh, what can we see is actually the um, the sequence of of measure moves and here i will uh, trace one uh, measure move which is this one probably we have a better trace here and the better trace is coming from the highs um, um, to highs here as we can see so this market is continuing lower and as potential to get into this area between 139.75 and 139.93. The reason for that is that there is a target for these two uh, measure moves, uh, the larger and the smaller one. So that's where we could see price in the coming days. Moving to the pound versus Japanese yen, again we start from the daily chart and um, as we get the data here, um, I'll, uh, I want to show you again, we have this level of support. It's a weekly extension here, 165.80. We target above previous highs, well above these highs here. And market uh, has traded recently these lows to highs. And uh, as you can see here, this area of support actually worked very well. Uh, worked uh, as a support uh, pushing price higher and the market uh, went uh, above this uh, level of uh, this uh, this uh, this level of initial support here as we can see and uh, it traded uh, into uh, a first measure move here so i want to move on the four hour chart to show you what is going on here first of all there was a very important development this level that um, that uh, acted as a resistance for uh, a few day a few days actually today broke and um, and it acted as a resistance once twice two, three times and then the fourth time it broke so this level is not there anymore and um this um the measure the see the, the the let's say the level of support uh where we saw participation and and actually brought this price higher was this level 168 37 initially it didn't work but then eventually uh price started picking up picking up at this level and uh, and and actually this is uh, the same uh, support level from the larger time frame here so there are, there are a lot of reasons why we got this uh, this reaction here but if we consider the four hours all the remove for a moment this level if we consider the four hour uh, measure move here it, it comes from lows to highs and um and as you can see here, he was able to bring price to the, into the first target. Now there, is a, there are two possibilities. One is that we we come back and test the next measure moving the sequence from this level to the next level, and uh, we could make the case that 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 has traded already. And so so that this means that if if price stays above this um, uh, 169.47, actually never moves below 169.26, then there's a possibility of a bounce higher and a continuation higher. So that's what I am uh, looking for in this market. And there's going to be a resistance level that is going to fall around this level, around 170.65.
I hope this uh, video is useful. Thank you for sticking around and uh, I wish you a very good uh, Friday and weekend. Be careful tomorrow. It's Friday. Market is slow. Thank you very much for sticking around and bye bye now.